Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? Ha ha. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives. They would have killed all of us. Hey, who's that? Arthur! Dumbass! You're back! Howdy! Mo Dynamite here, and I'm interrupting y'all to let you know about Amino, which is a mobile network of communities for every interest in the world. Here you can see the Red Dead Redemption 2 Amino. It's full of interesting news, chat rooms, and blogs about the game. If there's anything you want to know about Red Dead 2, you'll find it here. I've just created a poll on there, so come on over and vote. To join the Red Dead 2 Amino, just click the link in the description or pin YouTube comment below which will take you to the download page for Android or iOS. Or you can just search for Amino on your app store and then search for Red Dead Redemption 2 once you're in. And best of all, y'all, it's free. So mosey on down there and say hi to Mo. Now let's go back to Arthur. When I was in the Navy... I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. I'll try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. No, but only some views can do this. <sighs> Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Damn, Barry. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice floor as this. Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this Charlie go to Tahiti? a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us, well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. 
Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> You should have taken the money. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh. <laughs> How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. You need some meat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. <laughs> Very inspiring, Arthur. Arthur! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Driver! Driver, we're in the clear. Time to start this train again. Damn it, you did run. Remind me to rob your trains, mister. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> Do something, please! Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. How you feel? Stronger, for sure. But not strong enough to work. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all... Enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> Hello, Arthur. Good old Bill. Managing not to annoy folks? Very funny. And I was being serious. How you doing? I'm miserable. Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Maka. Sit down, my dearest friend, and show me just what you got. Now forgive me if I slip and stab you in the face. My people come from Scotland. Oh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> oh! ah! Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. 
You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Ah! It's just a scratch! Shut up! You can talk. We all heard you whine about a little nick from a wolf. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. <sighs> we'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. What about that train job with the oil wagon? They had a good show in there, didn't they? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. <laughs> See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. I'm gonna be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. I know it's tobacco. Now get off it! I'm not the Mo Dynamite secret tobacco stash! What the hell? And I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you for my fucking stash! Get out of here, horse! No one takes Mo Dynamite's tobacco. 